Your local soil and water conservation district cares about the environment. We care about our precious natural resources and are working hard to make certain those resources will be here for future generations. Because all living things depend on our soil and water for survival, including us. Even though we have five decades of conservation success behind us, we think it's important to look ahead. Because conservation is not about the past. Conservation is about the future. Here are some of the faces of our future. We thought you'd enjoy meeting them and hearing their thoughts on conservation. What would your reaction be if someone called you a conservationist? Weird. <laughs> it would make me feel good. And it would make me feel really happy. I, I would say, what does that mean? And then he would either tell me if it's a mean word in his way and or if it's a nice way or it means clean up the earth. And if it was a mean way, I would just walk away. Mm -hmm. I do take care of the earth. I'd feel really good and happy and terrific. That would make me kind of happy. Have you ever conserved anything before? I don't think so. But my dad, he has been taking care of the earth by picking up garbage going around all the world. I can't remember because it was a long time ago when I was like a baby. I've conserved glass bottles and I've conserved a lot of things. Our kittens we have. Little kittens and our kit and our big cat. One London. She's only one. She had five cat kittens. One at a time. She had eight nipples. Do your parents ever talk about conservation? Hmm. No, they probably do it upstairs while we're asleep. What is soil? It looks like it's made of pudding. It's <laughs> dirt. Well, I think it's kind of like um, something like um, dirt. Something that f feels really smooth when you put it on your skin. Soil. Soil is something um, that plant um, seeds go in when you plant a tree or a plant. What would happen if we ran out of soil? Our earth would just be bad. The seeds won't, won't might be might won't be good or or might won't be good. Maybe I think it will look just like everything like sand and the farms is only sand. People will suffer and die. If you could invent a machine to clean up polluted water, what would it look like and how would it work? It would kind of be like a submarine, but it, and it could go down into the water and stuff and it could travel a lot and stuff. It looked like this big kind of um, pickup truck. I think it looked like, you know, those steam shovels that have those little scoopers? How do you make soil? Does a storm make it or something? I don't really know how you can make soil. It's just from the ground. Who should take care of our soil and water? Environmentalists. I don't know any of their names. I think all the people on the earth should take care by not littering. I don't know. What does the word conservation mean to you? Well, I've never heard it, but it might mean understand or something. I think it means that you have to concentrate what you're going to do when, when you're going to make something. Don't have a clue. Conservation means to me that the world doesn't want to die, and I don't want it either. 
The faces of our future are looking for answers. Please help us. Their future depends on conservation. What does the word conservation mean to you? Conservation. I think what it means is to clean up the earth. Is that it? The same word as pollution, kind of. Conservation means to me that the world doesn't want to die and I don't want it either. We need to make the right choices now for the future. Please help us. What would your reaction be if someone called you a conservationist? It would make me feel good. And it would make me feel really happy. I know you are, but what am I? I'd kind of be pretty proud of myself. We've been soil and water conservationists for 50 years, and we're pretty proud too. Please help us. Our future depends on it. What would happen if we ran out of soil? We wouldn't have the um, earth clean if we couldn't um, plant trees in soil. It's time we all started thinking about soil and water conservation. Our future depends on it. 